You may have seen some headlines lately about AI redating the Dead Sea Scrolls. Now, Bob and I talked about this in the live from this month. I would say go and check out either the live or there's a clip of it on YouTube as well, our conversation walking through the story and some of the complications. But there were a couple questions in the comments that I wanted to come to on details we either didn't touch on or follow-up questions that I think are worth addressing. The first one is that as we talked through this, we didn't give dates. And a part of this is because, well, this study isn't giving hard specific dates. I'm gonna put up a graph here that shows the ranges that they are proposing from their AI model. The green bar is their AI dating. Now, all of these are ranges, and as you can see, there's a wide variety of dates, some in third century BCE, some into the first century CE. So the reason we didn't give a specific date is because they're not saying they all come from one hard and fast date. And now a follow-up point on this, the AI range here is the use of that term AI, because there were some comments saying that either maybe we're too caught up in the hype, this commenter says, but AI seems like the future here, and others saying that mm, AI feels like the wrong term here because this isn't a large language model. And this is a detail that they get into in their article when they're talking about how they built the tools that they are using because they acknowledge that this is an AI-based date prediction model, that this is not an LLM, this large language model, because there's not enough material right now. So they say, while it's tempting to use modern methods of deep learning, there are several arguments to not currently using such approaches for the proposed style-based prediction on a very small data set. They're acknowledging there isn't enough data to build that kind of deep learning model. And so, since a general large representative and labeled data set is not available, we apply dedicated pattern recognition and machine learning models, only using the relevant scroll data for training a date prediction model. So no, this isn't a deep learning model. This is not an LLM. It is a machine learning model. And this comes to the point of, can this work on its own or does it need scholarly insight? Our position here is that, yeah, this can't work on its own yet. It needs the help of scholars to guide it, to correct it, and to say when it's wrong. There's a lot of complications and problems. If you've used these type of models, you know they're not always perfect. So yes, there are questions to have here over this. There's examples where maybe this can be good, like the Vesuvius project, where scholars can use technology to get new things, but by no means are they arguing that this is a ready-made model for everyone to use.